Bay Trader, and there's actually a, a newer version out uh, as well. And you can uh, you can definitely get your hands on that. It's called Reading the Mind of the Markets. So um, that that is available as well. But you know the biggest the biggest uh, takeaway or the or the most important thing regarding Greg, in my opinion, is the fact that he's still an active coach to our grads. In other words, he's not just you know the president and CEO of the company. He's got a hands-on approach with our grads to make sure that they're understanding the method and that they're implementing it in the proper way. And so that's, that's like I said, to me, what's most important out of all the awards and books, et cetera. As far as myself, it's a picture of me and, and my daughter. My name is Kurt Capra. I've been with Pristine longer than eight years. I've actually, I mean, really kind of grown up Christine, as my last name would indicate, I, I am Greg's son. But uh, as far as being a trained trader, investor, and instructor, uh, that's been about eight years now, going on nine, actually. And before that, I graduated from Pace University. And as I said, kind of growing up in and around Pristine, know what the markets have to offer and just dove headfirst right in. And since then, I've become a member of our research department, uh, active contributor to some of our letters, uh, as well as an instructor for a variety of our courses, namely the Forex trading program. And you each also have your very own counselor. Ray and Amber are both here, so uh, you know if you have any questions, definitely reach out and talk to them. Should you want to see the table of contents or you know see what kind of specials or freebies they might be able to offer you they're probably the best resource that we can offer you guys uh, at, at pristine you know they're just a wealth of information and always looking out for you so definitely want to reach out to them all right so um that kind of is, is a little bit about who we are at pristine now before we go any further it is my responsibility, our responsibility to let you all know, if you don't already know, that not only is it possible to lose money, but you will lose money trading. I mean, there, there are going to be trades that simply don't work out, but it's not about any one individual trade, right? I mean, that, that doesn't define who we are as a trader, and, and if that's something you're struggling with, you have to get over it because any one given trade is not going to define you as a successful or unsuccessful trader. It's about the series of trades. It's about a, a culmination, you know, a, an ongoing log of trades, and that's what your success is going to be gauged on. So, yes, it is possible to lose money trading, and it is possible to lose a lot of money trading if you don't have the right education. So that's really the greater risk in trading is, is not so much trading itself because look, trading is a business. Anytime you're getting involved in a business that, that is your own, there is the potential for loss there. But if you're uneducated, if you haven't done your homework, that's where the greater risk lies. So that, that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, Out there in the trading world, the large majority of educational firms say that you need to use things like a MACD, a trendline, Elliott Wave, Fib retracement, stochastics, Bollinger Bands, you know, and, and all of these other things as well. I mean, this is just some of the main ones, but the list goes on and on. But do you really need these things or or is it just kind of a fad or or just just the quote unquote hot trend to be following these things because hey everybody else is doing it so I might as well right I mean that that's kind of the the mentality that a lot of times not just traders but people in general have is that if the majority are using it, well, I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to be the odd one out. But in this regard, 
you're in a better position if you look past these subjective tools because what they're all based on is price and if you can understand if you can read and interpret price action nothing else is necessary and just to put it in another perspective right let, let me just put it in another perspective here or say it a different way what percentage of traders fail you guys tell me what what percentage we all know the the you know the unfortunate statistic but what percentage of traders fail you guys tell me I'm gonna grab a quick drink while you do Yeah, 80 plus percent of traders fail. I mean, some people would say 90, even 95 percent of traders fail. And a lot of times it's it's because they run out of capital or that they're just on this search for the holy grail, right? Now, what percentage of traders, especially those who are just starting out, use subjective tools? probably the same 80% and more. So if 80% of traders or more than 80% of traders fail and more than 80% of traders are using these subjective tools, there's, there's, there's a disconnect there. Something is not right. If these tools, if these subjective tools that the majority out there say you need really worked, then the majority of traders wouldn't be failing. And that's where Pristine kind of separates ourselves from everybody else is that we're not going to sit here and tell you you need this tool and that tool and this combination and, you know, the, these oscillators or this, this um, you know, specific setting for the MACD or the RSI, whatever it may be. No, that's not what we're about. We're about keeping it simple and focusing on what really matters so you might be saying well you know what is it then that really matters and what really matters is price volume right if if you're trading equities right? moving averages understanding different cycles that occur over time as well as price support and resistance you know and 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 it's important that you understand price support and resistance i'm not talking about support and resistance being projected by fib levels or trend lines not because none of that is really significant we also want to consider multiple time frames and and things things of that nature but focusing on what really matters and th and that as i said is price it's the human emotion because that cannot be manipulated right i can manipulate any kind of an indicator to give you the picture that I want you to see. I can manipulate a an indicator to align with a chart to where it's giving you this this you know idea that it works beautifully. But that's just a manipulation of information to to make you see what I want you to. You cannot manipulate price. It is what it is. There's there's no manipulation. I mean yeah you can change time frames but you cannot manipulate the, the, the data. It is what it is. It's uptrending, it's downtrending, it's sideways. And if you can read that objectively, you don't need anything else other than you know, a support system like you have here at Pristine to where you can get into the grad room, you can get into coaching. And in those coaching sessions and in those you know grad room sessions you're going to have the ability to have trades reviewed and recognize mistakes so that you can correct them going forward because look we're all going to make mistakes they they that's part of trading they happen but if you don't know how to correct them and and worse off yet if you don't know what mistakes you're making you just know you're doing something wrong that's that's even worse so Having a support system in place to where you can have the help and guidance from your instructor or even better yet, 
the president and CEO of the company guiding you and coaching you. That's that's invaluable. And, and that's really, like I said, what matters is all of that together. All right. So having said all that, guys, why should you trade Forex? Why should you consider trading Forex? And before we get started, just uh, by a show of hands, yes or no, how many of you guys do trade Forex? You tell me, yes or no. Here, I can, here, this this should make it a little easier. You can just choose from one of those multiple choices. That's all, okay, awesome. That's all you do, no, completely new. Excellent, so we've kind of got a nice little cross section here. Take this poll down in a moment. We've got some experienced Forex traders, which is awesome. Some familiar but never traded. Completely new. Awesome. All right. So good. So, you know, these first couple slides, for those of you who have been trading Forex, um, is going to be somewhat of a, of a review, but it is necessary, as I'm sure you know, that we cover these things. And uh, for those of you who are new and looking to maybe shift gears away from equities or, or whatever you're doing, or maybe in addition to. All right. So just uh, let's go through a few basic slides here as to why trading forex what are some of the advantages first of all the liquidity i mean it, it is second to none there there's nothing that even comes close when it comes to forex right to put it in perspective let's look at a breakdown of the u.s stock market the futures market and the forex market in terms of the daily transactions that take place with the u.s stock market it does $191 billion a day in daily transactions, which is a tremendous amount of money, but as you'll see, is minuscule when compared to Forex, okay? So with the futures market, almost half a, a billion dollars, $437 billion in daily transactions, okay? So again, extremely liquid. But when you look at the Forex market, it's $4 trillion. Actually, it's even a little more than that now, upwards of $5 trillion in daily transactions. So again, like I said, the liquidity is just second to none. No, I mean, it, nothing comes close. This means that you can and do get filled where you want, when you want, no matter what time of day or night it is, especially on the major pairs. You know, you get into some of the more exotic pairs and the liquidity isn't as great in those pairs. But when we're talking the majors, you know, Euro, US dollar, pound, US dollar, US dollar, Canadian dollar, et cetera, you're going to get filled where you want, when you want. So there's absolutely no worry as far as that goes now it's also a 24-hour market <coughs> excuse me and you might say well you know what Kurt the, the futures market is also a 24-hour market well that is true but the the liquidity the volume goes down tremendously in the futures market after say 515 530 you know th there's there's a big drop off in the volume with Forex, it is truly a 24-hour market. I mean, things are really constantly moving, and, and maybe not in every single pair, but there's going to be movement somewhere because it's a 24-hour market, because it's trading based on all these different exchanges. You've got the European session. You've got the U.S. session, the overlap between Europe and U.S. session. You've got the Aussie session, Tokyo, et cetera. So there's almost an endless stream of opportunity, which means that it can accommodate traders with another job. If you don't want to sit in front of the screen all day, every day, that's fine. You can trade Forex for a couple hours or maybe just put a trade on and walk away and, and just have your target and stop set and be done. And yeah, you, get, you can get some very big swings overnight. As a matter of fact, you know, something that, that I've been doing 
very successfully as well is just looking to play those those swings that you get overnight from where the um you know things things kind of quiet down between the the Aussie section and the Tokyo session and then pick up with the European session opening uh, and you can get some great opportunity in fact I'll show you a couple trades uh, of exactly that a little later on in the presentation but it, it works unbelievably well if you can combine the technical analysis that we use here at Pristine with uh, you know understanding how to utilize and take advantage of that overnight session it can be extremely lucrative I mean you can get 50 plus pit moves uh, but you know before you, your day even really gets going and, and so you can see the benefit in that but uh, like I said extremely customizable to your schedule you don't have to be sitting in front of the screen all the time I mean you can literally one like I was just saying one of the things I'll do is look at potential overnight trades I'll, I'll set my entry my target you know and and go to sleep wake up and making money so it's that customizable to where you can literally just make money while you're sleeping and the price action is more seamless because it's a 24-hour market you know unless there's any some kind of major news that comes out you're not gonna get a gap from one day to the next it is a seamless chart and for that reason or, or among other reasons it follows Forex follows the technicals extremely well and you guys who said that you uh, you're experienced Forex traders you can speak to that as well you can you can confirm what I'm saying in that Forex tends to behave in a much more technically uh, appropriate and, and behaviorally speaking follows very well as opposed to say equities and it's like I said because there is that seamless action the 24-hour movement and on the major pairs there's enough liquidity to get in or out at any time yeah, like a freight train but you know what if you're on the right side of the trend that, that that's exactly what you want I mean I, I was long uh, going back to the other night and I'll show you I was long pound US dollar so this morning you know it was uh, it was very nice to see the movement that that we got and I was also short the US dollar Canadian dollar uh, the other night as well and was holding that and I'll show you those trades a, a little later on but yeah I mean if you can follow the trend and you know what you're looking at it, it, it can be a freight train but that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're on the right side of it and I mean if you, if you know which way the train is going and you can hop on board uh, it can it can be very very nice just just for additional perspective here's the breakdown of, of the different sessions the most active session is the or the most volatile is um, when you have the London and New York overlapping with one another that that's when things are most volatile Otherwise, the London session is great. I mean, when, when the London session gets going around 2, 3 in the morning, there, there's a lot of orders getting filled from, from the overnight session where things can slow down. Very nice movement there. During the New York session, things are nice. They do start to slow down after 12 o'clock. But, I mean, you just have to follow the trend because it can still act very well. And, yes, correct, Eastern time. Uh, even though you know with Sydney session Tokyo session things can slow down this is actually while there can be some opportunity here I mean for example we've got um, tonight the New Zealand dollar and their and their rate announcement that could we're actually five o'clock so coming up in about 20 minutes you you could start to see some action there uh, so so there can definitely be action after four o'clock but what I have also found is that during this time, late, later in the uh, evening, this is when new opportunities begin to develop. So while you might not be doing anything as far as actually being in a trade, this is the time where you may begin to see new opportunities developing that you can play 
as an overnight trade and into the following day. And this, this is stuff we talk about in the course. Uh, let me see. The yen pairs act different than Aussie or Canadian. Well, I mean, the, the way they're calculated, I mean, in pips, yes, they can act different. But, I mean, it, as far as the trend, I haven't really seen that there's too much uh, of a divergence, so to speak, from these other pairs. In fact, I find myself trading the, the yen pairs quite often. I, I find that they do move very well, or at least they have been. And, and that can change over time as strength and weakness begin to evolve. But um, I, I do find that a lot of times, and you'll see in the charts that I show you, that those yen pairs have, have actually been quite uh, nice in terms of their movement. The yen and, and the Canadian dollar, for that matter, have been quite nice here lately. Uh, so so that, that's, that's part of it. The liquidity, the 24-hour market, those are two big advantages. And then there's the lower cost aspect. And this is, I think, a big one. Because let's face it, you know, there, there is overhead involved with trading, and especially when you're talking equities. You know, you've got commissions, you've got uh, data fees, platform fees, things of that nature. Uh, with Forex, there's typically no commission, right? It's built into the spread. So in a sense, it's a matter, a bit of semantics. You know, commission, spread, they're kind of one and the same. But where things really begin to differ is that with Forex, there's no platform fees. There's also no data fees and no exchange fees. So you're saving you know, what, what ends up being a tremendous amount of money by making a move towards Forex. So, I mean, look, admittedly, I'm biased. But not only can you save money in platform fees, data fees, exchange fees, but you're also going to get a 24-hour environment to trade in. You're going to get the ability to um, customize it to your own schedule. I mean, you don't, you literally do not have to be sitting in the chair from, you know, six, seven in the morning till four o'clock, five o'clock, even you know, six o'clock in the evening, like you would have to do with with equities to do your research to see what's setting up for the following day, etc. You guys know the grind. So Forex to me is just, just like I said, a, a beautiful environment to trade in because it's also, when you trade Forex and, and you'll see in the charts that I show you, you're trading off of the larger time frame. So you're not watching, you know, the one minute, the two minute, the five minute, because if you're doing that as a Forex trader, I mean, honestly, you're probably going to just get chopped up to pieces. That That's not really what Forex traders look to do, at least, you know, the majority of successful ones that I've come in contact with. Because the movement, be, because it is a 24-hour environment and the movement is so much more seamless from one day to the next, you can get some just beautiful trending moves and for that reason traders tend to be more on the one hour chart the four hour chart and even the daily chart to capture those bigger runs so by trading those larger time frames you're also like i said able to enjoy other things that you may want to do in life you know take up or or further pursue hobbies that you may not have otherwise had time to do spend more time with family and and friends etc all right. So let me show you let me show you some examples of different charts that have happened some more recently than others. Here's here's a chart of pound US dollar and this is not necessarily a up to the minute chart. It's not, you know, uh of the current environment, but that's on purpose. You know, I have some charts in here that are as of today even. But I also want to show you ones that, that date back a little bit of time because I want to show how it doesn't matter the environment. The pristine method works. And, and that's, that's the thing you have to really keep in mind you know, when looking for a trading education is that I don't want something that works today. I want something that works yesterday, today, tomorrow, and into the future. And I want to go back in time and see that it works there as well and that that's the pristine method and that's why I have 
you know, like I said, a cross section of different examples to show you. So here's pound US dollar. This is a daily chart. And it's very simple. I mean, when you really boil it down, following the trend in a downtrend here, we're going sideways. You short a breakdown. This breakdown would have resulted in over 400 pips. Or if you're trading a standard lot, this is over a $4,000 move in just a matter of a few days. And and look at how easy it is. I mean, look, you don't have to have any kind of detailed or complex management style to make money on this. It's just an easy, no pain move lower. Like uh, like J.K. Ryder said, it's a freight train. But as long as you're on the right side of it, it's a freight train that you're welcoming, that you're happy to be on board. Don't try and pick a bottom down here. Not when you've got a whole bunch of overhead congestion. I mean, and we go into the details of why this was a good breakdown just just looking at even before it happened. Right? I'm not I'm not going to say, oh yeah, you shorted after the red bar is done. No, what was happening before the breakdown was very telling. And so we go into all of the details regarding each individual candle. I mean, that's how fine we go in the education is down to an individual candle because you have to understand those messages. You have to understand, for example, that let me show you here. You have to understand, for example, that this topping tail that I'm drawing an arrow to, you have to understand that that was a full bodied green candle moving higher after what appeared to be a double bottom. So when when you have a double bottom in place and this bar at its highest point was a full body green bar, you've got a bunch of traders thinking, hey, this is moving higher. But by the time it finished and it closes with a topping tail at resistance, th this becomes an entirely different picture and one that we can make over $4,000 on. Or you know what, even if you're trading a mini lot, because you're not necessarily going to start off trading a standard lot. Maybe you're just trading a mini lot. You could have made over $400 on this trade. It's not even so much about the money. I mean, you'll see examples where, look, the money is there to be made. There's no doubt about that. But it's not so much about the money. It's more about understanding how to follow the trend and knowing what patterns to look for and knowing when to be getting on board, where to put your stop, where to have targets. Those are the things that are more important. And if you can do that, if you can see the quality, then everything else just falls into place. So let's look at some other examples. Here we have US dollar. So let's look at some other examples. Here we have US dollar yen. And you can see, I mean, if you decide to open, you know, and, and, and um, sign up for the prop program that we offer here at Pristine, you will get access to the MT4 platform, MetaTrader 4 platform, and you can see your entries, your stop loss, your targets directly on the chart. So here, here you can see exactly where the trade was entered. You can see the stop loss at this point when I captured the chart, I had brought the stop loss up and was managing the position at this point. So this is the ability that you'll have as well. If, like I said, you end up signing up for the, the prop program. But in any case, you can see nice pullback, took it long. This, this, this is a four hour chart that I'm showing you. I actually entered this off of an hourly chart, but at this point in time, you've got an 87 pip move in a relatively short period of time. I mean, you're talking what, eight hours or so? Um, so on one standard lot, you're talking almost $1,000. On one mini lot, you're talking almost 100 bucks. Now, like I said, if you're trading one mini lot and you're up $87, that's a good move, right? You got to start somewhere. The reason I'm showing you these two different lot sizes is because I want you to understand that if you're just starting out in Forex, it's about building the confidence in yourself. It's about getting comfortable with trading something new. But look, you start off small. Yeah, okay, maybe you're making 100 bucks. It's not life-changing money, but it's about going through the process 
and understanding that this $87 move will become almost a thousand dollar move and then as you become more comfortable and you're trading maybe two and three standard lots or more it's becoming a multi thousand dollar move so again I, I don't want you to focus so much on the money because like I said the money to be made is there day in and day out there's always opportunity it's about knowing what to look for and positioning yourself the right way and of course having stop loss in place so that if it doesn't work out you're protecting yourself to the downside I mean we're not just buying something and and holding it until it goes in our favor no I mean the stop loss initially just just so you guys kind of begin to understand was initially under this area here and so I mean you, you get in here you got to stop under here which is a, a pretty tight stop relative to the potential reward right so it definitely from a reward to risk point of view is more than favorable here's another example this is euro US dollar and again this is not uh, as of today but nonetheless breakdown over here sell setup over here in any of these cases even over here breakdown in any of these cases it's about following the trend and finding the right spot to get on board and part of finding the right spot to get on board is understanding how to read bar by bar analysis, understanding support and resistance levels, and also understanding the concept of price void, or in other words, where do you have a lack of reference points? What is the path of least resistance? And in this case, it was to the downside. Now, I also want to take a moment to point out that with these charts that I've shown you so far, there is no stochastic, fib retracement, MACD, Bollinger Band, Ichimoku, Cloud, not, none of that stuff. Because as I said to you earlier, it's all unnecessary. All it does is cloud the judgment. It clouds the decision-making process. It, it effectively puts us on, on a never-ending path as traders search out that holy grail which as we know doesn't exist you have to find what works for you and just commit to it trying trying to bounce from this place to that place and and picking up a little here and a little there and starting to just you know mash together all these concepts it, it, it just results in more confusion so my, my some of the best advice I can give to you is Find out what makes sense to you. And, and sure, part of that is going from one webinar to another and seeing what's out there. So to a certain degree, you do need to do that. But once you hear something that resonates with you, once you hear something that, that, that starts to make sense and that you can get excited about, that's what you have to decide to commit to and, and see it through. So Forex done the pristine way includes but is not limited to multiple time frame analysis, trends, support and resistance, and understanding and use of subjective analysis. Now, you know, as I said before, we really don't use subjective tools. But with Forex, there are some tools such as fib retracements that a lot of traders do use so yes we do talk about those fib retracement levels and we talk about how to use them in an objective way how can we combine this subjective information with objective information to make an even more educated decision but it ultimately always comes back to the price pattern and yeah, we consider intermarket analysis. You know, what is oil doing? Because that can have an impact on the Canadian dollar. What about, you know, copper and, and gold and thing, you know, those, those metals and how that can impact things like New Zealand dollar and Aussie dollar. So yeah, we do need to consider that and we do talk about it. Uh, but a pattern, a price pattern without this complete analysis is novice trading. You know, you're making decisions based on incomplete information 
and that has to stop that that has to stop you have to start taking and, and having all of the cards in front of you before you make a decision and that that's what this is all about here you know I just want to go through some more examples to show you this is what I do day in and day out here's a chart of New Zealand dollar US dollar this is an hourly chart and honestly guys like I said before the time frame really doesn't matter I've done it on the hourly the four hour you can do it on the daily whatever you're comfortable with but here you have the hourly chart. Now, would you know, if I didn't tell you that this was a Forex chart, would you know that this was a Forex chart versus a stock chart? In other words, would you be able to tell the difference, yes or no? Of course not. Definitely no, right? And, and so that's part of the point here in that there, there is no real obvious difference. I mean, other than you're trading something else, when you look at the chart, you would never know the difference. A chart is a chart in pristine's eyes. There is no difference. So it's a seamless transition from trading equities to Forex. So if what I've been saying to you so far has gotten you at least somewhat excited, you should be even more excited by the fact that what you've seen on equities and all the work you've done in looking at chart patterns on ec on the equity side really is a seamless transition over to Forex, which I think a lot of times there's this misconception that, look, it's something completely different and I have to relearn what I've done. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not at all true. You don't have to relearn anything, as a matter of fact. So... Here you've got this breakout. You've got this breakout, and you buy it. I mean, there, there's there's no question about it. You you buy this. It's transitioning. It's moving up. You buy the breakout, and then you've got a target somewhere up in this area, right, uh, where you've got this prior congestion. So, in the matter of a few hours, and yet yeah, it, it took a little bit of time. You know, the timing of it in general wasn't the best. But look. When price breaks out, when you get a breakout out of a range, you just have to make the decision to take the trade or not take the trade. But if it's part of your plan, you got to take the trade. Just understand that the time of day was likely going to result in a bit of a slower move. But ultimately, look, it, it does move exactly to that targeted area. So you get a 60 pip move or $600 in a few hours you know you you enter the trade you go about the rest of your day have dinner go to bed whatever and when you wake up off it is into your target but look not every trade is going to work out there are going to be trades that don't so here's an example where you've got a pullback and what seems to be a pretty pretty good opportunity overall but it doesn't work out. It starts to move up, but then comes back down and fails. Okay, well, that's that's the reality of trading. They're not all going to work. But do you know how to analyze trades that don't work? In other words, not just saying, oh, this didn't work. But, okay, has something changed now in the trend? Is the trend now changing to where I no, wanna, I, I no longer want to be bullish? Or... Is this just pulling back deeper into support where I might look to re-enter? It's not enough to just say this trade didn't work out. Now I'm going to start shifting my bias or I'm not going to look at it anymore at all. Because there may still be an excellent opportunity that exists. And that's exactly what you see happening here. This first setup fails. But then it pulls back a little bit more into support. And it sets up a new opportunity to get long, and this one works out beautifully to the upside. You even get another setup over here. So, as I said before, you have to be objective. You have to continue to analyze the information in an objective way so that you're not letting a, a, a trade that gets stopped out or some other bias 
distort or cloud your judgment. It's equally important to understand why something didn't work out and, and whether or not the trend has changed as much as it is to know what to do. Another example uh, of a trade that was taken, here's Euro US dollar on the four hour chart. And this one has transitioned and this, this is all stuff we talk about. I mean, the transition, this is what we call transition A. We talk about all of this in the course, but this was a great opportunity based on a bottoming tail signal off of support to get long. And here you get a 91 pip move on a 17 pip stop. So in other words, if you risked $500, you would have made almost 3000. Five o'clock. Yep. I just, I was just watching. Uh, I see some of the charts starting to jump around a bit. Uh, the, the Aussie dollar selling off a bit here right now with the, uh, the rate announcement. I don't know what it was. I'm obviously here with you, but I just see the charts starting to jump around a bit. Um, volume. I mean, you, you don't look at volume really with Forex. Uh, it, it's just so liquid that it's, you, you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's not something that we use as Forex traders. Wow. New Zealand dollars getting crushed. <laughs> oh my God. Um, crazy action right there. Uh, so anyway, sorry about that guys. Like I said, I was just watching the, uh, the movement there. I can, I can show you here if we got a little time. Yeah. Or, or you look, it's just, I mean, it, and you know what the beauty of it is that New Zealand dollar, U S dollar, if you're looking at your charts, um, it's, it's all kind of just moving in alignment with the trend. It, it's not really too much of a surprise, at least not in my eyes, you know, the New Zealand dollar, U S dollar pair has been in a downtrend and, it, it, it's looking lower and and so far this is just right in alignment with the overall thought process uh, and by the way guys I mean I put out a video every Monday if you're not getting it we, we put out a video it's it's in our newsletter that goes out it's also on YouTube and it recaps and looks at uh, each of the major pairs so you can definitely check that out it talks about what they did over the past week and where they're going in the coming week so definitely uh, check that out. Uh, it's in the email with the chart of the week that Greg does, that Monday letter that goes out. So you can uh, you can see it there, or um, you can just write on the pristine site. You can see it. Yeah, exactly. It's it's under the free services. Yes. So in any case, uh, this Euro US dollar here, right? Beautiful move up into resistance. And like I said before, you have to know your levels. You have to know where to get in and where to get out and how to manage positions. Uh, what's the minimum start to invest in the four? Well, I mean, with, with our Forex program, um, outside of the education, you know, just, just in terms of the account getting set up, is $2,000. I mean, you could get going with less than that, but liquidity-wise and, 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 and the, um, the leverage that you can get, it's not really enough, to, to be honest. I mean, you, like I say, you can get started with less, but it's not necessarily a great idea because you could just churn through it rather quickly. And you're not going to have the guidance that, that we can provide. Another example here, though. You've got Aussie dollar, Japanese yen. And again, you see exactly where the entry was. You can see where the stop loss is at the moment I captured this. Uh, and, and this one, you know, this one goes back a couple months, February. Like I said, I want to show you a couple different uh, times of year and to, to show that it really doesn't matter. Here it is back in, in late February uh, towards the beginning of March and beautiful movement here. This is an 81 pip move on a 20 pip stop. Just simply managing the trade at this at this juncture. On a standard lot, you're up about 800 bucks. And it's still looking higher. If you're trading a mini lot, you're up 80 bucks. And look, 80 bucks 
not a lot, but it's about the process. It's about getting a feel for it, getting your feet wet. As we all know, you have to uh, crawl before you walk and walk before you run. Trading's no different. If you try and just run right out of the gate, you're going to fall right on your face, unfortunately. You may have a little bit of initial success, and that's generally how it goes, right? We, we all get that initial feel and flavor for the success that can be had, and then and then we uh, we come crashing back down to reality. So that's what you want to avoid. Let me show you some more examples, though. Euro yen, this one, just, just a plain old breakdown, right? It was trying to move higher, failed. Uh, and, and keep in mind, I'm not showing you the larger time frame, but that would be part of it as well. But here it is, simple breakdown. You shorted here, took a little bit of time, but boom, 100 plus pip move on a 20 pip stop. Just a beautiful move down. So on this one, even if you're trading a mini lot, you're up just over 100 bucks. Euro US dollar on the four hour chart, pull back into support. You buy it on this, what we call secondary sign of strength. So I didn't get in here. I didn't get in down here at this turn. I actually waited, it came up, it started to consolidate. We got this red bar uh, being ignored. And that's where I took it, over those highs there. You get a 91 pip move on a 45 pip stop. And as you can see, it did end up going higher. But look, I, I based on the, the, the sharp move down, I wasn't necessarily thinking or looking for it to get all the way back up to this high, even though it did. Look, I'm not trying to be greedy. Pigs get slaughtered, as, as the saying goes. Greed is good, but pigs get slaughtered. So you know what? I'm just looking to take my, my piece. I'm just looking to get the meat out of the move. I'm not trying to be overly greedy here. Because if you can if you can get the meat out of the move and do it consistently, you're not going to have to worry about anything. You're going to be very happy. Here, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. This, you know, like I said, I've traded this one more recently, and and I've got another example of U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar to show you that was uh, closed out early this morning, and uh, here this one was up over a hundred pips in a relatively short period of time. But once again, it's simply following the trend. And I'm able to do this without any of those subjective tools that so many others out there say you need. You know, you, you need this indicator, you need that indicator. All you need is an understanding of price, an, under, an understanding of support and resistance levels, those levels that truly matter, and trend analysis. You don't need anything else. I mean, I'm I'm proof, if nothing more, that you don't. Here, pound JPY. Now, th this one, you know, this one I just wanted to show. Look, even if you're trading on a smaller position size, let's just say you're trading a mini lot. It's not even about the money, but the money is there to be made. Here you can see on a mini lot, this one at, at the moment, that it was captured, this one was up just over $200. Now that's just a mini lot. If you had a standard lot, you're talking, you're up over $2,000. So, as I said, the money is there to be made. But it, it, I don't, I really don't want you focusing on the money. I know that's why we all trade. I know that's the reason we do this, is to make money, to make a living. But I promise you, the less you focus on the money, the more of it you will make. The more you focus on the money, the less of it you will make. It's about the process. It's about recognizing quality and knowing where to act, when to act, and how to act. Here is uh, one of those recent trades I was just telling you about. You can see this is, you know, up up to just uh, maybe what a couple hours ago. U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. I played it short. You you can see here where it was where it was played short, where the target was taken. 
uh, it was actually played short on this break down here. Right? So it was, it was the other day, as I said. And then the target, we I got out down here. What does it say? Uh, 22.97. So right in this area here. You know, and like I said, I'm not going to try and tell you I got out down at the low. <laughs> I mean, that's just not, I'm not going to say not realistic, but look, I'm, I'm not trying to sit here and say, oh, yeah, I shorted this breakdown and I got out at the low. I'm so lucky. I'm so good. No, look, I said just a moment ago, I want to get the meat out of the move. So short the breakdown and get out down here. You know, if you look to the left, there is some support off to the left. I don't have it on this chart, but there's a support area off to the left here. And that's why I was looking to get out in this area. Sure, it went a little bit lower, but I got the meat out of the move. I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about a couple extra crumbs that that I could have gotten when I got this large chunk of the move. And the other trade that I wanted to show you here was pound US dollar. This one I took as a long and I got in around this area in here. Had to sit through this gyration, but uh, you know it is it is what it is. But we got a really nice move up and took it to up towards the top of this range. So once again, yeah, left a little bit on the table, but look, it, it it's about making money, it's about having a, a, a high odds of success. And that's what the pristine method does, is it puts you on the right side and it puts you in a position to be successful. So, uh, you know, at this point, though, those are the charts that I wanted to show you. Here's a look at the table of contents if you're interested in seeing it. Uh, and it, as I said earlier, if you want to see it, you can just contact your counselor if you want to have it emailed to you. But here's day one agenda. We talk about basics trends, key strategies, all, all that good stuff. We get into support and resistance on day two, talk about trade management, multiple time frames, all of the necessary stuff that you need. We talk about money management, trading plans, everything that you need to be successful. And if you sign up for the prop program, we have a, a third day where you also have platform training where you go through setting up the chart, uh, you know, placing test trades and all that stuff as well so we can help accelerate the learning curve of not just the education but also getting familiar with a new platform because that can be very difficult at times I mean if you're switching a platform there's there's quite the learning curve to that as well and so we want to help you on that end as much as we can uh, also so like I said if anybody wants to see that table of contents and have it emailed to you just simply reach out to uh, Ray and or Amber. They can help you out, no question about it. And if you are interested in the prop aspect of uh, you know, this program, you get lifetime access to our education. And you're going to have access to me, and, and I'll be able to work more closely with you than if you were to just open your own account. You know, we, we can work side by side and I can help give you more targeted feedback throughout your learning process. And it'll also help reinforce more professional trading behavior because we've got some risk management guidelines that we can provide to you to help, you know, kind of say, hey, this is what you should try to follow. So we'll give you that. And there's also an emphasis, as I've already started showing you, on steady profitability rather than home runs right you're, you're not trying to be Babe Ruth who you know hits home runs but also strikes out more than anybody else that's not what we're looking for we're looking for steady profitability you know singles doubles and the occasional home run yeah that's gonna come but it's about being able to create a steady stream of income and also when the time is right, knowing knowing when to increase your risk and, and trading larger size. You know, you earn the right to trade bigger size. As you become more comfortable and confident in yourself, you should give yourself a raise. You should allow yourself to trade bigger size and make more money. <clears throat> Which is, you know, smooth smooth size transitions and access to greater buying power as you prove yourself 
over time. And you know what? We all have a common incentive here. If you're doing well, you're happy, and, and we're happy because you're going to say, hey, you know what? This pristine program, it's the real deal. I'm, I'm making money. I'm seeing things better than I've ever seen before. You should check it out. And like I said, you're making money, so you're happy. And it's just a, a wonderful relationship that we can have together. The next time I'm teaching this course, guys, is going to be uh, coming up at the end of the month, June 27th through the 29th. <clears throat> It usually, its retail price is $39.95. I know we've got some specials going on for the month of June, so contact your counselor. We've got some specials going on for the month of June, so contact your counselor if you have any questions. If you are a TPM or prop grad, equity prop grad, you can get even deeper discounts. So, as I said, contact your counselor for that. But, look, you're going to receive, as I said, Lifetime retakes of the course, lifetime coaching with Greg. You're going to get access to our graduate room and trading with our preferred prop firm and generous payouts. When I say generous payouts, I mean 100% payout to you. I mean, we really can't get any more generous than that. It's, it's basically as if you're trading a retail account where whatever profits you make, you keep, uh, but, but you've got the benefits of the prop environment to where you can get access to greater buying power. You, you get tighter uh, spreads, things like that. So it's it's a win-win all around. All right. So like I said, reach out to your counselor if you have any questions regarding that. But otherwise, guys, I want to thank you for your time. If you have any questions, I am happy to stick around and, and answer those for you. Uh, the difference between Forex and TPM, I mean, th as far as the patterns, there really are not <clears throat> any differences. But as far as what you're trading, you know, we, we have to look at the charts a little differently. Uh, there are some certain nuances, such as, like I said, the larger time frames that we're trading from and uh, some of the subjective tools that are used, th things like that. But as far as the patterns, it, it, it's the same. You know, PBS is a PBS, and that's, as we've always said, the beauty of trading the pristine method. Once you learn the patterns, you are basically free to trade whatever you want. There's there's no, uh, you know, there's no special nuances in terms of the patterns that you have to relearn. You're welcome. So, like I said, guys, uh, I want to again thank you for taking an hour out of your day to be here with me. Amber, Ray, you know, the pristine team. It's uh, certainly appreciated. I, I know you could probably be doing other things with your time. So as I said, choosing to be here with us is uh, is, is definitely appreciated. And hopefully it was worth your while. Hopefully you, you got something out of it and enjoyed this. And hopefully I see you uh, at the end of this month. But other than that, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your evening, depending on where you are. And like I said, hopefully we will be talking soon. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Take care, everybody.